I'm bored! Entertain me. Hey, what's going on everybody? My name's Corporal Killjoy, and as always, to kill your boredom brings me a lot of joy. And some good news today, we got Blake's character short for Volume 5 right now. But some other good news, today we hit over 800 subscribers, which is awesome. And I was a little worried at first because it stayed on like 794, 795 for like the longest time. And I just started seeing the subscriber count going on. And now we're sitting at 801 subscribers, so thank you guys very much. Uh, I didn't have anything planned out. Uh, for today, but I am glad that, you know, we hit 800 subscribers, you know, on the day of Blade's character short. So, uh, I guess as a small thing, this will be the, you know, subscriber special, uh, but that's really about it. So, before we jump into this, just a few discussions about the video, uh, before we look at it. Uh, if for all you to know, uh, I was tweeted out some clips of Blake in Menagerie, obviously, and, uh, there's some, there's some speculation that we were gonna get, like, a flashback like we did with Weiss. Which I think would be cool, but the thing with Blake is she was so descriptive of what she did, you know, especially in Volume One and Volume Two, uh, like what she did with the White Fang and who Adam is, and you know, we saw a lot in the trailer too, the black trailer. That I, I personally I don't think a, a background or a flashback story is nearly needed for Blake. You know, we got all that throughout the volumes, even throughout Volume Four. You know, we saw that she meant business. So, but in the clips they showed us from uh, Twitter. Uh, what it looked like, it looked like she's chasing someone, because she's determined, you know, one clip, she's, you know, pushing someone out of the way, you know, she could have easily just walked around, but she's, like, determined, so, it looks like she's determined to find somebody, and then it shows her running up the wall, and there's, like, no one else around, so it is possible that she's either chasing somebody, we could get, we, we could get to see who Sienna Khan is, uh, maybe it's more, uh, the, uh, Faunus that we saw from earlier, from before, like, Elia, and the two Fox brothers, or maybe not even brothers, but they are foxes nonetheless, so, um, I don't know, this can go either way, so, uh, without further ado, let's jump into this, guys, and here's my 800, 800 subscriber special, the Blake character short, sorry, again, I didn't have anything planned for this, so let's dive on in. Alright, we're in Menagerie, all the furries are out, <laughs> I'm sorry if anybody gets offended that I called them furries, I know, I know they're really faunus. Really, it's like one of the most diverse places out there when you think about it. Rabbits. Oh, there's Blake. <laughs> the fish market. <laughs> oh, are those belladonna flowers? Can I ask you something? Sure. Oh, it is a flashback! Why... Why'd you join the White Fang? Oh. Same reason as you. What? But, but why? Some background Fang story on Elia, it? too. It's awesome. Aww. It's okay. You're not the first person to ask. I know I look just like any other human girl. And for years, that's how I was raised. We lived in Mantle with the other Faunus working the mines. Oh, they're doxing My people. wanted something better for me. They managed to enroll me in an Atlas prep school. <laughs> Imagine that. Oh. A little Faunus girl from Mantle going to the City of Dreams. Oh, is he a White I Fang member? Princess. But I had to follow a set of rules. He is. They're White Fang and they're buying weapons. Oh, and they know too. Oh, that was Elliot's scroll. That's what it was. No bringing Come on. friends home. No talking about my parents. And absolutely, under no circumstances, was I allowed to change colors. Jesus, that's the thing. She does look like no a normal person. No, I was a faunus. Yeah, she's an iguana, Sounds or a chameleon, terrible. actually. It wasn't. It was confusing at first, but Come on, get his ass. It wasn't hard. So they were chasing someone. Especially if it meant being an atlas. Sometimes the other girls would say things about the faunus. That they were animals, that they were dirty. <laughs> Put that knife to good news. I'd say those things with them. Pretty damn good knife. I felt like I was one of them. And then one day, there was a cave-in at the mines. I was at school when the news broke. Apparently, one of the workers tripped while handling some agitated dust crystals. Oh, this is Blake's uh, OST theme song from the trailer. Oh. And my 
friends. Oh shit. Snickered. That's fucked up. Go! I lost control. Every inch of me turned blue as I wept. And suddenly, all the girls that I'd laughed and played with were scared of me. Fauna's got it rough, dude. I'm sorry. Don't be. I broke their teeth. Oof. Oh, more white fang. Oh, it's Elia! Jesus, it's like it's like before she deals with Adam, she's gotta deal with them. What happened? He got away. Man, it took you long enough. I'm sorry. Jesus. Is that why she wears uh no hold on. Hold on. Is that it? Oh wow man, that was that was a lot to take in. Okay guys, so like I said, that was a lot to take in, you know. You know, cause I thought we weren't gonna get a background or you know some type of flashback because of the way the tw the tweets were sent out, but not only are we getting like like a bigger story on Blade, we got an even bigger story with Elia. You know, I'm glad we're going to see him back in the, uh, you know, volume one attire. And it's just that, you know, it go just goes to show you, you know, a lot of the faunus, you know, really feel like what they're doing with humans, like two humans is justified because of all the shit they got through. Like when she found, like she was with the story, you know, when her, when the, when her, the, that, the thing in the mind happened and the humans laughed, but she cried and now everybody's fearing her just because she was a little bit different. And I'm, and it's just like, Oh God, that's mind blowing. Ugh. Oh, Jesus. You know, and I think I think it's just, it sucks for Elia because you know she like she said she really does look like a normal human girl, but you know she has to you know keep control of herself because it seems like her emotions really do uh, come out more when she changes. And God damn, and I gotta watch this trailer again, you know, because. You know, because I forgot that they got her scroll. Now they have a list of everybody on Menagerie, you know, who are undercover White Fang by the looks of it, or people who they're probably recruiting. So, and, you know, to learn that, you know, this stuff happened with Elia, you know, it's like you feel a little more for her. Like, like so a lot of the faunists don't just join just to be, you know, you know, evil or just to hurt people. And it's not like they're those, you know, bullshit Antifa guys you hear about in the news lately. Like, sometimes these guys legitimately have a reason that, they, they, you know, they can actually explain why they do the things they do. You know, like with Elliot, she said that, you know, she cried for her friends, but everybody else laughed at it. That's not right with anybody, really. It just isn't. And, you know, to have that included in the background story along with Blake, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a real big eye-opener. And you can't help but feel for, you know, the faunus even more. So, I mean, I know I sound like I'm repeating myself, you know, I'm trying to wrap my head around everything. But it seems like before, you know, Blake and anybody else can do, you know, take back the White Fang, they got to deal with all the White Fang members on Menagerie who are possibly working for uh, Adam and Sienna Khan. And I was hoping we get to see Sienna Khan, but that might be a bigger reveal, you know, sometime down the road in Volume 5. So, uh... Next month, I hope we get a Yang trailer too, and we might see her in her old, you know, Volume One attire as well. Um, I'm not sure what it's gonna be. I don't, I don't know if it's gonna be, you know, revolving around, you know, uh, the conversation between her and her mom, or maybe a, a further background of why her mom might have left, or Sean her leaving. I don't know, but hopefully it's really good. So uh, again, guys, uh, thanks for uh, sticking with me through 800 subscribers. For everybody who's subscribed, you know, I really appreciate it. Um, Hopefully we can break that thousand mark before the end of the year. Like I said, uh, once I break it, 
uh, my entire body's getting waxed and I'm not going to enjoy that. So also if you enjoyed this video with me and my reaction, please like, share, and subscribe uh, to the channel. It really helps it grow and uh, give me your thoughts on the uh, in the comment section below what you thought of this trailer. And I know I might have missed some things uh, with this that I probably have not covered and I'll probably have to watch this trailer again. So if I did miss anything, uh, please let me know in the comments below. And I'm glad that we had uh, From Shadows playing in the background too. You know, and I think I think Elia is gonna be uh, a big part of the uh, uh, volume five. You know, I could I could definitely picture her, you know, maybe turning a leaf like like how some of the other faunas have, like especially with Blay. Like she was with Adam all the way until she realized, you know, hey, this is wrong. And hopefully that happens with Elia. So again, guys, thanks for watching. And uh, hopefully next month we will get a Yang. Well, we have to. <laughs> you, you know, you can't do a Weiss and character a Weiss and Blake character back. Uh, shorts, sorry. You can't do a Weiss and Blake character short, you know, without doing Yangs. You know, that wouldn't make any sense. I think that would piss off a lot of people. So, um, let's see. We also got more videos coming out. Um, and I start, I start my weight loss vlogs uh, this week too. So if you guys want to uh, see me do a week zero, which is going to be like a weigh in and measurement and try to get my goals uh, for my weight loss vlogs uh, till the end of the year. Uh, just keep on the lookout for those and with that said, you know, thanks for everything guys, you know uh, Getting this far and 800 subs. I know it doesn't seem like a big number uh, But it's a big number for me. So uh, with that in mind or anybody watching this as always, you know Thanks for liking sharing and subscribing. Bye